When I was conceiving of the film, I thought of it as a period film, primarily because I wanted to create some level of distance from the subject. And what I mean is not emotional distance, but some kind of historical perspective about these people's lives. And I wanted to make a film really about a kind of codependent relationship between a woman and a man, which is a fairly modern kind of idea. And I sort of apply that to some kind of historical context. Well, the movie was never really designed as a direct comment on the American dream. And I know that seems ridiculous given the title of the film. The subject of the American dream, the immigrant experience, was all a kind of excuse to pursue a movie about this woman and her relationship with this man, this, the slave and her master. Do you have a place to stay? No. Somewhere? Yeah, I know a place. If you'd like, I can take you there. Yes? Yes. I never conceived of anyone else in the, in the lead role. The movie was written for Marion Cotillard. Even though Marion Cotillard is French, and not Polish, obviously. I wanted her because I felt that her face was so great for movies, and it was like almost like a silent film actress face. She was able to relay the most uh, intimate details of her feelings and thoughts without saying any words at all. And she has that kind of relationship with the camera, which is a very beautiful thing, a very rare thing. And she's also extremely intelligent, and you can sort of tell that. I had constructed the film around her. I saw someone who was amazing, amazing looking. And I'm not just talking about beautiful, I'm talking about intelligent. And who, someone who could radiate also a survival instinct, some degree of will without having to verbalize it. Marion and I both dis discussed about how much would be verbal and how much would be what you could sense. And she gave me great confidence in a way. She said, you know, if you have to get rid of dialogue, I will somehow find a way to communicate it. Even Either I will think it and you can just show me thinking it and the audience will somehow know. I said, well, how's that gonna work? She said, you know, that I had to trust in the story and in the context of the story. Like she would say, I don't want to have to say that. I don't think I need to say that, James. So sometimes we would shoot it and I would say, no, 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 I need you to say X, Y, and Z to prove the point to the audience. Almost invariably, I would cut it. I'm curious. How is it that you ended up working with him anyway? He brought me here. They wanted to send me back, but he made it so I could stay. Well, can can be your friend, it can be, and, it, and it can be something that really hurts. It depends on what the world thinks of your film. It's an honor to come here because the, it's, the, it's the festival in the world, really. So if they invite you, you go. Having said that, it, it, that doesn't guarantee a kind of incredibly pleasant experience about the reaction of a movie. Uh, my films have been very divisive, it appears. It's sort of like you're exposing yourself to the world and in a way what you have to do is kind of be very zen about it. Does can help or hurt the film? Only time will tell.